one of the things that environmental history can really add to our understanding of Canadian history is thinking about the ways in which non-human actors influence the past. And in the past 30 or 40 years, historians have been rethinking European colonization of North America, and of course Canada is a part of that. And what we've discovered is that European colonization was profoundly influenced by the politics of European empires and the economies of those empires, but it was arguably uh, as much influenced by biological factors, including the transfer of novel plants, animals, and diseases from Eurasia to North America. So we'll take, for example, smallpox. Prior to 1492, smallpox was unknown in North America as a, a viral agent that causes a devastating illness that kills people. Europeans introduced that disease to the North American environment beginning in the late 1400s uh, and over the course of su uh, successive centuries it spreads through indigenous populations of Americans uh, all the way through what becomes parts of Mexico, the United States and Canada, depopulating most of the continent. This has enormous consequences for colonization. Cartier, Champlain, George Vancouver, James Cook, other uh, famous European explorers encounter environments that they then later assume to be uninhabited and empty when in fact they're walking in environments that previously had been inhabited by many thousands and in some cases millions of people who had died as a result of the introduction of these diseases. So this is one area where I think environmental history can actually change our understanding of the Canadian past. Um, and then on top of that, if we think about the spread of agriculture as a foundation for providing um, subsistence for European colonists to spread across what becomes Canada, much of that agriculture is predicated upon the introduction of certain food plants that are not indigenous to North America. Wheat, for example, becomes a predominant food plant across the prairies uh, where uh, native grasses of the prairies are replaced by an introduced uh, uh, grain crop which provides a food foundation for an expansion of a European population in the West. So these are a couple of the ways in which I think environmental history can help us think about Canadian history in new ways.